I'm Kate Torgerson, mom of three, and I'm the founder of Milk Store. I set out on a mission to make it easier for working moms to breastfeed and created a company that's transforming the realities of working motherhood. We had kind of a bumpy journey into parenthood. All three of our kids are IVF kids. Our first child, Jax, we did one round of IVF and then Finn and Zoe I took a couple of rounds of IVF. There's also obviously financial implications of having kids through IVF. The moment that Jax was born, it was the best day of my life. It's the best investment we ever made. That moment we knew we had twins on the way. I turned to my husband and I was like, we have to buy a new house and we're gonna have three kids in college at the same time. For me, it was actually very liberating to go back to work. I had so much trust in the childcare and I felt really good about putting the twins there. Breastfeeding twins is no joke. I was producing a gallon of milk every two days. The first business trip that I had to take with the twins, they were about eight months old. So that meant I had to pump every three hours, which then I had to not only just manage that on a day-to-day -day basis, but I also had to get it home. Just standing in the TSA line, I had two gallons of breast milk. It's just a huge, pain and one that doesn't need to happen. I came back and I was like, I want to fix this gauntlet <laughs> that pumping moms have to go through just to take a business trip. The next day I called my dad and I said, hey dad, I have this idea. And he was like, where do we start? He's a Silicon Valley veteran. So and I knew that he was the guy that could help me figure it out. He had also seen me trying to feed three kids. So he was very invested in solving this problem for other women. The first steps in starting Milk Stork were already constrained by the fact that I had three kids under the age of three and I was working full time. I came up with a name, I came up with the branding, I got business cards. I was doing that during my pumping sessions. That was the only free time that I had. Milk Stork is the first breast milk shipping solution for women and my goal is to enable women to continue their breastfeeding relationships while they pursue their personal and professional ambitions. When Milk Stork launched in 2015, we kind of just flipped the switch on the website and waited and the orders just kept coming. By the end of 2015, we had five large clients. At the same time, the retail channel was growing as well. It was the end of 2016 when we knew that Milk Stork, it was no longer kind of a side hustle. We were accountable to thousands of women. We didn't have any employees. It was still just my dad and me who was working later and later into the night after the kids went to bed. I had to be deliberate about how I was going to make the switch over to Milk Stork. In order for Milk Stork to grow, I needed to continue to have childcare. I was not going to transition from my regular paycheck until my oldest was in kindergarten to alleviate a lot of our childcare expenses. One of the things that I ended up doing was going part-time. That gave me more time to build Milk Stork. My last day was the end of May. 2018, Milk Stork had grown to a point where I knew I could take a reasonable salary. The other things that we had to look at is, you know, where could we save money? I knew that I was going to be taking a pay cut. I still, to this day, never take that paycheck for granted because it's blood, sweat, tears, and milk that have gone into that paycheck. One of the things that being an entrepreneur has taught me is that every dollar you spend is an investment. Definitely, we are more capital efficient now. We decided we're not gonna invest in 529s until all of the kids are in public school. And that any kind of discretionary income we needed was gonna to have to cover childcare. So it forced us to stagger those priorities over time in a way that was gonna be realistic for our family. My relationship with money is different now. We live a fuller life now with less. I'm still not making what I made. We've made difficult financial choices, but these were investments in happiness. I'm really proud of what Milk Stork has done in the workplace, particularly, because we've played a, an important role in normalizing breastfeeding. You can't talk about pumping without talking about the value of that female employee on your team. I would have never found entrepreneurship without motherhood. It's taught me that I can innovate on the fly, I can survive with lack of sleep. It really is this empowering moment that you can parlay into other areas of your life. So I hope that moms feel empowered in their motherhood to make the changes that they want in their life. Our journey to parenthood was definitely a roller coaster. I had this realization that we were not going to be able to do it all. My advice, I think, start taking some steps in a new direction and, and let the path reveal itself. Big changes are not typically made in one fell swoop. If you have an idea, do yourself a solid and invest in that idea. We all get enriched when working moms are able to contribute.